Hey guys, Sarah here from Cali Craft Cocktails. I'm gonna teach you how to make an old fashioned, but now the way that I was taught is one sugar cube, bang, you gotta throw it like that, like it's a three pointer. And you know what, I haven't opened these bitters yet, so let's just, maybe we can do this in like fast forward. So you wanna cover the sugar cube. By the way, don't put soda in your old fashioned, it's so gross. So now you're going to muddle your little sugar cube. You're gonna do two ounces of bourbon. I like Evan Williams, okay? It's really nice. Despite the label that looks the same as Jack Daniels, which is pretty um, It's actually really nice, it's a little bit sweeter. So you're gonna fill that with ice, give that a stir. You don't wanna hold onto your glass like this because you're gonna warm up your drink as you're trying to cool it down and it's counterproductive. So you're just gonna stir like that. Get your rocks glass ready. Make sure you taste it. I think the ice is like melted together. Mmm, beautiful. Julep strainer. This is a julep strainer, by the way. You use it with drinks that are being made in a mixing glass like that. You're not gonna use this. That is a Hawthorne strainer. That's for tins only. Tin tins only sounds like a an OnlyFans page, doesn't it? Go. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Here we go. And you garnish with an orange peel. <clears throat> Too small. That's what she said. Okay. She didn't say that, that's mean. That's how you use it. Okay, orange peel. Now you can do this. I was taught, I was always taught to do that and put all of the oils of the orange rind onto the lip of the glass, but then my most recent bar job, they said to not do that because you're affecting the taste of the drink. Because you've already done what you want to do with the drink. You put the orange oils into the drink, but then if you put that on the rim of the glass, you're making it kind of too bitter. So that's your old fashioned. So that was the way that I was initially taught how to make it with a full sugar cube, covered in ango, and then with the bourbon. But now that I'm an old man, I find that it's way too sweet so what I do and what you know another recipe calls for is literally just one bar spoon which is 15 mils like that's all the sweetie you need because you know it's supposed to, it's a it's a whiskey drink it's not a sweet gross also it's not a fruit salad so let's not put you know f cherries and all that f in there because that's just insane. And I forgot the bourbon because I'm that passionate about not putting cherries in your old fashioned. And we love a good cherry. Okay, we love a good cherry, but it's not, this is not the place. Okay. So, this is one bar spoon. Oh, sorry, I said 15 mils, I meant five mils. I've got to convert everything back into the metric system. That's great. So it, you can really taste the whiskey. It's not, the other one, this one, this one you're putting the sugar in it so you don't taste the whiskey. This one you taste the whiskey but it's not as harsh. It's like, that's how the drink is supposed to be made. It's not a sweet 16 you know, thing. I used a different spoon, is that okay? And the iceberg looks like a Titanic. Look at that. Oh, it was sank, so that's how Titanic works. 